I'm just doing my job on a printer because that's part of my job and this is a printer. Thank you for calling the occult phone line. My name is Okabnal. Feel free to call me landline. How can I help you? I think I might be possessed. What makes you think that? Have you been crawling on the ceiling? Has your face stopped matching the one in the mirror? Has your bed been suspiciously full of dead birds? No, just a normal amount of dead birds. Wh which, is, which is none. Well, the reason I think I'm possessed is because there's this church in my area. They're called the church. They're not one of the big religions. A friend of mine knew someone who was part of it or something and was told to check it out. She offered to pay the entrance fee, so I thought, why not? While my friend was looking at the gift slash miracle shop, someone came up to me and told me they could sense something wrong with me in insecurity and fear. But I had to fear no more because the people of the church would help me exercise the demon that had taken hold of my soul. They invited me to a meeting and I've checked out their website and stuff, but I thought I'd call you for some help and extra information. I don't want to ask them stupid questions. We'll do some general checks. Have you been anywhere hunted or drank soy milk? If places can be hunted, wouldn't everywhere be hunted, except like space? I've never tried soy milk. I'd go to space if I was a ghost. Have you bought and watched any second-hand movies? Lately, I've only been watching movies made by the church. They're great, really insightful. Do other than the church churches make you uncomfortable? Yes, I'm always very aware of how hard I'm trying not to stand too close to people. But so do supermarkets, they're worse because the shopping cart makes me bigger and more unwieldy. So I'm pushing it around, trying to avoid people and their shopping carts. Maybe my demon died inside of a supermarket, built on top of a school because I feel strange waves of fear when I step into one. Okay, okay. Have you tried putting a little baggie of lavender on your pillow that wards off some spirits? I've been meaning to, but the bag I ordered from the church website hasn't delivered yet. They sell those? Maybe you could watch the day to day. Most ghouls are very scared of well aged satire. What are some other things that make you feel like you're possessed? You know, actions outside of your control? I have on multiple occasions avoided people I don't dislike. I read in one of the church's spiritual guides, I think the title was A Guide to a Better Life and a Better Life After That One and That One. That that is the demon avoiding people that will also join the church in the future. And I should definitely ask them to come visit the church. What do you mean with avoiding people? Things like trying not to make eye contact or when I see someone on my way to school, I try to stay behind them until they take a turn I don't. Or I act like I'm occupied by something else. Well, I do that too sometimes. Just pretend not to notice people instead of have what will probably be a fine conversation with them. I'm not possessed and you don't seem other possessed either. Not once during this funk have you mentioned your dreams of the old ones, but you've talked a lot about money. I have to say, I'm starting to mistrust this, the church. And you're sure you're not possessed? I am, because I work here. I have to do a monthly possession check, the water coolers are filled with holy water. So much has been through my system, I'm somewhat of a celebrity in the homeopathy community. No, I'm sure. I can't even sweat around vampires anymore. You're not possessed. But all the books and all the people that believe in them. Books they want you to buy. And a lot of people believe in something just doesn't mean it's true. Don't believe these con artist cultists. You're not possessed. Okay, okay, you're right. You don't sound all that thrilled about it. No, no, I'm glad I'm not a mere mortal shell of the being named Glarblor, creator of rot, stealer of breast milk. But what do I do now? I see your point. Shaving your head and only wearing Nike sounds a lot neater than going to parties, not because it's fun, but because you have to learn how. But the truth is that this is a real problem. And the solution isn't to sell healthcare products infused with Mesopotamian diamonds to single moms. It's scary hard work. This sucks. I'm sorry, this really, really sucks. Well, if this phone call has taught me anything, it's that there's more people like me. Just think about that the next time you have to repeat a joke for the third time and now you don't even think it's funny anymore. I just have to remember that the postman gets nervous when he hears his doorbell ring. I guess you saved me a lot of money in 
purple robes and mind-cleansing exercise gear. Thank you. Happy to help. Bye. Okay, bye. Don't you hate it when you hang up during someone's bye? What? Don't you hate it when...